at the moment in the lead in the cleaning jerk and in the bronze medal position in the overall. So her destiny now lies in the hands of the two Russian lifters. Can't do worse than bronze, but who knows? Who knows? Will Savenko pick this up? This is 137. It's only two kilos more. She's got 250 already. Good for her. You know, it was a challenge. She did just the best that she could. She went through three successful attempts. And just to put that into context, as a result of that, Savenko goes into second place in the clean and jerk. Overall, she's second to Slavenko. Roxana Kokos still leading the clean and jerk. Now, of course, Savenko has finished on 252, and Slavenko's got 252. She has the lighter body weight, so Slavenko has already now secured her fifth European title. So, 141 kilos. So, this a four kilo increase to take her to 256. And that would be 10 kilos short of where she was in Paris. when she won the world title. Well, that's better than the first one. Maybe just a little bit more relaxed that she can't be threatened, she had the title, and suddenly it all starts to connect a lot better. That was a good shot showing this aggressive second pull, really throwing the shoulders back on it. So, Roxana Kokos now. Hey ho, look at this. Five kilos yeah. up here. Now, she's after, remember, that Slavenko is on 256. She can't catch her, but she could take silver away from Slavenko by virtue of lighter body weight. This would put her on to 252 and the overall silver medal. The last one was a big question. This is huge. Well, yeah. you called her a weightlifter. She is a weightlifter. Yeah, she's really a talent. I mean, Watch how she just, just bar just kind of oozes off the platform. She just squeezes off a little right here, slowly slide. That's going to accelerate, whips herself under, dips and drive, and just tails it goodbye there, punches up that jerk. And she is a player with Slavenko, is what she's also announced with that on the cleaner jerk. Look at this. Yeah, absolutely. And the other thing, Randy, is, you know, who has had the best boost for London out of this competition? Roxana Kokos is going to drop down to 63, but she is the one who's going to go her way from here, you know, smiling, ready to do that last phase of work before she goes to the London Olympic Games. Now, Slivenko, as you rightly said, Randy, now has to lift this to take back the lead in the clean and jerk. Does the 143, and as a result of that, by a kilo, denies Roxana Kokos the gold medal in the clean and jerk, and ends up after not the most convincing of competitions with all three gold medals by virtue of lighter body weight in the snatch and the fact that Savenko couldn't go as far as she wished to in the clean and jerk. So 
For Oksana Slavenko, it's three gold medals, snatch, clean and jerk, and overall. For Savenko, in the snatch phase, she collects the silver medal in the clean and jerk, she takes the bronze, and overall, she finishes in third place. For Roxana Kokos, she gets the bronze from the snatch, she gets the silver in the clean and jerk, and a very well-deserved silver overall. And there you have the results of the clean and jerk. But as I said, uh, for me, the lifter who has taken the best out of this particular competition is Roxana Kokos of Romania, irrespective of the fact that now Slavenko has collected a fifth European title. I would heartily second that choice. And Slavenko, actually, in a funny sort of way, to me, she almost seemed a bit ring rusty, which seems a bit odd to apply that term to someone who is consistently and regularly on the competition stage. But this might have come as a useful wake-up call because it wasn't the Slavenko that we're used to seeing. Well, she's not pushed, that's true. She just kind of overpowers the bar and she has sort of a rough hand with it. As uh, you can see,